So here we have the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross on a 19 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. And then the car even comes with this vinyl boot liner, which would have been an additional extra. Underneath this carpet section, we've got even more space again. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle, you can see the total miles for this car, which are 16,790. Uh, within that section, we also have the fuel gauge, the cool and temperature gauge, and it will show what gear this car is currently in. It's an automatic. We're in park at the moment. Uh, above that, uh, we have a trip computer section. Um, they will also give you your various different warnings, for example, the, uh, the lower washer fluid uh, level. Uh, above this section, we have a heads up display for the car. A little hard to see on camera, but you can see the digital readout for the speedometer, hopefully, in the middle of that section just there. If we work our way back out to the steering wheel, on the left hand side, we have stereo and phone controls, and on the right hand side, cruise control with speed limiter. Once you set cruise control in this car, if you hit this button just here, the car is able to maintain its own distance between itself and the car in front, both speeding up and slowing down automatically depending on the car in front's speed. And behind the steering wheel, we have the minus and plus paddle so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox should you wish to do that. Over in the center, we have the main screen for the car. Uh, so up on here is where you'll find your phone, your radio, etc. Uh, you can see that I'm making movement on the screen now uh, without touching the screen itself. Uh, and that is done using this uh, almost trackpad like you'd get on a uh, laptop, for example. You can hear me swiping through things there. This button also pushes down. So if there's a particular thing you want to highlight, for example, you go to DAB radio, push that button down to enter that menu. You can go back a step using the buttons down there as well. You will see all the different ways in which you can listen to music up here. You can pair your phone, you've got Bluetooth audio there, USB, iPod input, loads of different ways ultimately to listen to your music in this car. If we put the vehicle into reverse while we're sat here, you'll also see that we've got a 360 parking camera. So reversing camera and a bird's eye view image of exactly where the car is parked right now, uh, making it a very, very easy car to park. You can go a couple of steps beyond that as well. You get a front facing camera, as you can see just there and a front facing camera with the front passenger side wheel view as well. Working our way down from that, we've got the dual zone climate control. So first of all, turn the fan speed on and the system is now turned on completely. You can adjust the passenger temperature on the left hand side just here, uh, driver temperature over on the right hand side. When you're happy with those settings, uh, that button will turn your air conditioning on. Same again to turn it off or hit auto. The car will now take control of the fan speed which you can see it doing to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for any manual adjustment will automatically override that and put you back in a manual setting again we can put the car in eco mode we have two usb inputs a 12 volt charging socket driver and passenger heated seats with two different heat settings each the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox this is where we can lock the car's uh, four-wheel drive uh, we have the system that i went through just a moment ago with an electronic handbrake and auto hold uh, function as well. The last thing I want to talk about in this car are the two uh, sunroofs here. So the rear one is a fixed uh, roof. So essentially you can open up the sun blind to let the light in, but the glass panel itself uh, remains fixed. At the front here, we can do the same thing. So we can open it, leave it like that. And obviously that lets in a huge amount of light or with this front one, you can open it as a sliding sunroof should you wish to that piece of glass will slide over the top of the rear one. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.